Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Girardi, CEO and founder of ProEst. Today we're going to take a peek into ProEst Cloud, which I feel is the best technology we've developed in decades, and now it's part of the Autodesk family. When you first get into our platform, you start right at our homepage. ProEst Cloud, when we developed it, we made sure we wanted to incorporate many pre-con related functionalities in a single platform. So by that I mean cost estimating, which has always been the heart of our platform, digital takeoffs, proposal generation, and CRM, all within a single cloud-based solution. So when we first start out, we start right at our homepage. And right off the bat, you can see some analytical type data right in the middle of the screen here. Year-to-date dollars one, close rate, what's open or what's in our pipeline, and what's been estimated year-to-date. Some very helpful dashboards as well, as well up top here, year-to-date by type of project, year-to-date by status of project, even down below, you know, our win rate per type of project, our win rate per estimator. All this data, because all estimates are in one single database, is possible. Left bar here says tasks and events, showing us upcoming project due dates, potentially tasks for projects as well. So one centralized place when you first get in to see what's on my plate for today. As I move down the menu on the left, I click on the calendar, and quickly you see a dashboard of upcoming due dates for projects as well as open tasks for projects. Uh, this can be you know, for the whole company. It could be just for my department, which could be per office or per region. It could also synchronize with all the popular calendars, Mac calendar, Gmail calendar, Outlook. So all these due dates will automatically go on your calendar. The Estimate Center is a listing of all the projects we have in the system. So different information you see here like description of the project, the status of the project, the type of work, versioning, we control versioning. Um, over on the right, who's the team member involved in the project, right? Because the system's designed to be collaborative, so there's an unlimited number of people that could be in any estimate at any given time. You know, up top here, I can simply search for key uh, estimates I need to find. I could, you know, group estimates right on the screen. All right, so the whole goal here is to be able to get to estimates as quickly as possible and organize them in a manner that's helpful. Uh, this list is also, depending on the logged in user, could show them only estimates that they've been invited to. Uh, up top here, a quick status ribbon. I can click on active and show me just the projects that are active within our system. And to open up a project, you simply double click on it. Okay, with the project open, a couple things I want to point out. Uh, left to right, I can click on the documents tab where I can import and associate any type of file with the estimate, right? So whether those are drawing sets for takeoff purposes, whether those are site images, really up to you, and you can organize them by um, type of file as well. Uh, the estimate tab contains all the costing information for our project, right? So I've got a couple of simple items in here, and you can see quick cost, but if I wanted to add another item to this, I simply type in the keyword. It prompts me with the various items from my data set, put a quantity on, and I'm off and running. So very quick, very simple. I can make changes right on the fly. Any changes that are done are automatically recorded, so we always have a, an audit trail. So that's doing manual takeoffs. If I wanted to use our, our digital takeoff functionality, remember we're web-based, so I can utilize an unlimited number of screens. So I just open takeoff, open on another screen here. And when I come in here, I can quickly zoom in and take a look at what I'm going to measure. Again, the process is the same where it says add new takeoff here. I'm going to type in a keyword. You know, at this point, I'm going to select either an individual item or an assembly from our data set. This data set is 100% controllable by the user. So when I select an assembly in this case, you'll see on the left, it prompts us for various dimensions. You know, I can come in here and put in a quick slab area. I can put those dimensions on the screen. And then things like rebar spacing, number of mats, anchor bolts. You know, all this over on the left is controllable by the user. Uh, and the beauty here, because takeoff is a built-in component within ProEst, is the cost of this slab is already done. So if I click back on my Estimate tab, I'm going to see that the details for that slab right here are automatically done and my estimate's been updated. So 
a really quick process to do takeoffs to select individual items manually or use digital takeoffs, either way. Uh, and the data set that's within it is very controllable, right? So if I was a general contractor, you know, I might use one of the data sets that come standard with our platform, organized in the CSI organization. So there's many databases we have that come standard, a commercial general, we have a concrete, we have a landscape, we have an electrical, because depending on the data set, we can serve different sub-trades as well. But this data is 100% configurable. So um, they could start with this data, we could import data, we could utilize, uh, we have a cost book as well that we could, that gets updated quarterly. So multiple options when it comes to the data set. As I move along here, I click on the tasks tab. You know, the system's designed to be collaborative, so I can come in here, put a date, check labor costs, and I could assign it to anyone else who's associated with this project. So I could assign this to Joe Smith, and now he just received an email, and he has a to-do on his list. So designed to be collaborative, and that's one, one aspect of it. Then that far right tab says summary, and that's where we're going to see all the summary costs on the project. So up top are various cost types, like material, labor, sub-equipment, and other. Then whatever markups you have applied, right? I have overhead, profit, I can add my own. I can put a contingency in here for 3%, and I can consider that a markup or a margin or a lump sum. A lot of flexibility here. So I could even filter that. So if I wanted a markup applied to just certain cost cost within our platform, like maybe your concrete's marked up differently than your general condition. So that flexibility is there. And then the end result being the output. So there is a number of standard reports built into the platform. This is one example where their logo automatically gets dropped right into the report. So this is a summary type report. If I wanted to look at you know, a one-page overview of all the costs, as well as other important information, man hours, labor hours, you know, type of project, who's the estimator, what's the cost per unit, you know, or right down to detailed items. I want to look at detailed individual items within the estimate, takeoff quantities, costing, see charts built right into the platform's reporting. So there's a number of standard reports built in, like if I want to generate a proposal, yeah, I could generate a proposal right within the platform that has a combination of maybe boilerplate contractual information along with things that are specific to this project, like a scope, inclusions, exclusions, you know, a, a payment schedule, someplace for your client to sign off. These could be printed to a PDF, sent to Excel, uh, really up to you. So a lot of flexibility here uh, in the estimate reports. And then we get down to reports where and now I could start to look at reports across my organization. Like maybe do a report where I do a date range and I do a you know, year to date. And I quickly see information like how many projects were created, how many projects were closed, what's the total revenue, what's our close rate, what's our pipeline look like. You know, or success type reports. Or again, I could put in a date range. I'll just put a big range here so I can show you my sample data. And then it's quickly showing me, you know, of type projects of type office, I have 33 estimates, 22 open, we won five, we lost six, you know, we're at a 45.45% close rate. So this information is at your fingertips now because all estimates are in a single platform. You know, being able to compare different versions of the same estimate side by side, being able to look at how many hours it takes to put an estimate together. We track that as well. You know, what does um what does your labor force look like? Do we need to add another estimator or another PM to our team based off of their workload? So some of the other things that uh we feel really help our clients come up to speed quickly, we have built in education. So when someone purchases ProEst, they come with an implementation manager, and we have a six-step proven process to help them implement ProEst. But on top of that, we have built-in certification. So estimators can come in, you know, do certifications where we're watching videos, we're taking quizzes, and at the end of the day, they're being graded. So as a 
maybe an owner of a general contractor, I can look in and see how proficient are all of my employees at using ProEst. Are they ready to start using ProEst to represent my business? So trying to take some of the heavy lifting off of being able to travel and do things like that when it comes to training your staff on, on how to use our platform. And certainly a complete knowledge base built in as well to search up any anything from what was in the latest version to a particular topic. So that's a general overview of our platform. Obviously, we can get a lot deeper, but that gives you an idea of why we're so excited and why we're so proud to be a part of the Autodesk family moving forward. Look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you.